might make you feel more comfortable or safe to be in the group. I was just wondering if anybody had any ideas. Cool. that they can actually do it effectively. It works, that's what I'm saying, it works, that's what, it's, what I mean by mana. What I've learned in my research about MI is the importance and value of the clinician that offers the treatment and how inseparable the quality of the therapeutic interaction is from the benefit that is derived from the treatment. How do you change behaviour? Um, how do you help people to make changes in their life? Lots of health problems involve changing lifestyle factors and lifestyle factors take a lot of motivation and a lot of effort to change. I didn't think it was that serious. I, I sort of was thinking more along the lines of, I don't know what I was thinking. I was just thinking it'd be good to, to be honest, to just keep back to my, with my wife. I hadn't really thought through what might, uh, yeah. So I, haven't, I don't know if I'm really ready for, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm not ready for this. For me, motivational interviewing is about inspiring people to change and respecting people and looking up to them in such a way that they remember to look up to themselves. Maybe this is a blessing, actually. So because I think to myself, well, if somebody hadn't diagnosed me with diabetes, I'd just carry on and, and on sit and in the corner of the bar and chat and talk and probably yeah. get fat. I don't know. Mm. But what motivational interviewing does is that it allows you to develop a relationship with a client whereby you're not the expert. You're not trying to say, I know what's wrong with you, and here is the solution. So it sounds like what's important is looking at a different, sort of some different coping strategies where cannabis, rather than using cannabis, you're going to sort of find some other strategy to, to cope with. Something cheaper, yeah. Something cheaper. And legal. And legal. Any thoughts? Not alcohol. Probably. Not alcohol. <laughs> Motivational interviewing, I think, fundamentally is an approach to helping people who are ambivalent about any kind of decision or area of their life, whether it's making a particular kind of change uh, in their substance use or health behavior, but also other kinds of changes. If you were to think about even one step that you would, could take, can you think of anything that that, that, that would be? towards this best future. Yeah, even a, even a slight movement towards mm. it. I think I could, I, I, I could consider going back to tech and, yeah. and picking up where I left off. In some ways, what I think um, Miller and Rolnick have done in their work, and, and, as, as well as some of the other pioneers in this area around the world, is they've, they've taken us out of the dark ages. Thank you.